be books. like a prostitute trying to sell herself in a turtleneck. <laughs> what, Here's my kid. what is your business? Explain to me what your business is. Okay, so I am a mindset and mental strength coach with also health and fitness added in. I help people jumpstart and re-energize their lives to really get to the goal that they ultimately want. But what's the goal? The goal is up to them. The lot of people that I deal with are males aged between 25 to 45 that are in a life that they don't like. They feel bored. They feel mundane. They feel like they're just not living the life that they want. How much money are you making with this business? Right now, I'm not making any. How much money have you made? Have you ever had a client? Right now, I have three clients that are free. I okay. got those for just doing like a two-week free thing. And I've kept those clients on, even though I could probably cut them loose now because they've seen a lot of progress. I'm like a little the, confused as to what you actually help with, what you actually sell. Like I'm, business I'm, owners, I'm they'll sorry, say, well, ahead. I went oh, I, th I went through this and I can help somebody achieve their dreams, and their goals, but that's not a tangible thing. What is the actual Right, thing? right. What it is, is basically say someone is working a job in like a McDonald's, okay? And they want to change their life in general. They don't like the way that they look. Maybe they're out of shape. Maybe they're doing habits that they don't like and they want to change that life. Well, they're in like a state of like fear of making that jump. So most of this, if I may, you it just ahead. sounds like incoherent rambling. It's not okay. an offer. It's not a business. And look, it's cool to talk about, but at the end of the day, any business, any offer, any product solves a problem. Yeah. So what problem do you solve? In my mind, I'm solving a problem, helping them get out of the life that they do not like now and start to take action to starting to achieve the life that they want. But helping them get out of the life they are now, number one, is extraordinarily yeah. vague. And number two, it's not a problem. It's an ideal situation. If I say, what problem do you solve? And you say, well, I help them win the lottery. I help them lose weight. I help them get their great body. That's all ideal situations. Those aren't, those aren't problems. What is the problem? That's what I was seeing as the problem. But that's not a problem. Like by the very Webster's dictionary, by grammar itself, that is not yeah. a problem. You're, what I said was, what is the problem? You said, well, I help them get have a better life. Well, well, that's not a problem. That's an ideal outcome. The ideal outcome is they have a better life. But what's the problem that's the whole reason why they're seeking a better life? The problem is that they have fear taking the action. And I'm helping them getting over the fear. This, action to what, though? If they're afraid to even start on a path of even saying, hey, I want to actually become a creative writer, but they don't, they feel even the fear of even saying those words out in public or even having someone judge them. I try to get them to- Okay, so you sell, you sell a personal development offer. That's what this is. Yes. Okay, so we just took 10 minutes to say, I sell a personal development <laughs> offer. Okay, I'm sorry. In my mind, it's a, it's a little different, but yeah, go ahead. I get what you're saying, but you're jerking me around. You sell a personal okay. development offer, okay? Yeah. That is what you sell. Yes, I sell okay, candy. Yeah, nice. I sell chocolate. I sell cars. I sell personal development. We don't have to have this, you know, big rigmarole. You sell personal development, correct? Yes. Okay. There we go. Yes. I sell personal Thank God. development. Okay. So, Thank you. We're there. So, so the personal development you 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 sell is yes. people have a they, 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 they're not action takers, they're not executors. And you yes. help them do that. Okay. And what do you charge or what are you thinking of charging for this service? Right now, I want to charge like $1,000 a client per month. $1,000 per month to be their personal- yes. To help them action. get over the mental barriers to get to them, start taking action, personal okay. development. All right. So this is a $12,000 per year offer that you're trying to sell. I'm going to take a look at your website in a second and we're going to look at that. <laughs> okay. I and feel I'm like that's it. going to go well. Let, let's get into it. Yeah. Yes. But here's the thing. You're selling a $12,000 a year offer offer. So yes. someone has to be able to justify spending $12,000 a year for you to tell them to get off their ass and stop sitting on the couch. Whatever is in between the couch yeah. and that thing better be very, very lucrative for them. You can't just say, I want to help anybody. Who exactly are you helping do this? So it's the people that are, they're non-action takers. They are in their head. But people um, who are non-action takers are literally every single person in the world. There's days but I'm targeting action. So I'm targeting, like, that doesn't mean anything. It's gibberish. It's BS. I, I get it. Help? So it's males 25 to 45. Those are the, the people that I identify with. Well, what the do they do? What are they trying to take action to do? Change their lives because they're in, they're not happy. Let's back up for a second. Let's get some yeah, data. How many sales? Yeah. You've had no sales. You have some free clients. 
What yeah. have you done to advertise? So I do Facebook ads. How much have you spent on Facebook ads? I don't know. I've tried about 150, 200 dollars a month. Not much, because like I'm just trying to test out like where I'm getting the most traffic from and like trying to dial in my message, which I haven't. Well, your been offer is jacked up. If I'm sitting here, somebody yeah. who knows this game, I've been yeah. talking to you for 15 minutes. I'm asking you follow-up questions. You cannot explain to me clearly what you sell. How do you expect someone who sees a Facebook ad, who's going to look at it for 10 seconds to understand what you sell? No, and I'm totally agreeing with you. And it's probably why I've had such a hard time even getting the message over to these people because I'm not communicating it right. And obviously I'm not communicating right because what I'm I'm selling is not clear. I noticed something on your application. This was very, very, very concerning to me because it sounds like this business is not going the way you wanted it and you're not getting customers, you're not making sales. And so obviously there's something wrong. Here's what I really, really found an issue with. One of the questions on the application was, what is the biggest reason why oh, you I want, want this business to right. be successful? Yeah. You want to say, and what is it? I want to say that I was right because I believe that like mental strength and diet are the keys to really taking that next level in your life. Okay. And, and I don't but believe- wanting to be right that. is the absolute well, worst reason to start a business. Yeah, when I saw the application, it's the first thing that popped in my mind. That's fair. Yeah. But I'm just letting you know you're basically saying ego. Yeah, I just, I don't, that's, that's fine. I'll accept that. Actually, I, very rarely do I say something like that and people go, I'll accept that. So good on you for 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 actually being receptive to that because that's the case. People create a business and in their head, they have all these dreams, this passion and, and this purpose and all these flowery words. And that's great. It's awesome to have passion. It's awesome to have a purpose. But at the end of the day, when all of that dust settles, if the offer does not make sense to the market, you can have as much passion and as much purpose as anybody, and it doesn't matter. And so what I always say is do not try to have a purpose that sacrifices profit. Meaning if you have a purpose yeah. or a passion, but yeah. it's at the expense of a business that works, then there's no point in having that purpose because it's not going to go anywhere. So who cares, right? You want, you, if you have a purpose, you want it to be successful so that it actually goes out there and it reaches people. I imagine, right? Well, yeah. Like ultimately is I want people to understand the concepts that I'm trying to get out there. How about this? How about instead of trying to understand the concepts, it's you try to help them solve a problem. You, you try to help a specific yeah. person solve a problem. So let's take a look at your website and then I'm going to help you. Don't worry. I'm not just going to beat you up. So this yeah. is your website. So fit focus ready. Yeah. Uh, mindset and mental strength coach. So fit focus ready sounds like a fitness brand, not a mindset or personal development brand, just off the top of my head. Let's look you know, at that. That's fair. And like the main, I call it that because like, I feel like all of the aspects are important. So well, I wanted great. that part it's, of my it's name. It's still crap branding, but I get, I get your point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have two websites. One, this is for my, just my course. And then the other one is for my coaching. Well, why don't you send me the one for the business we're we're talking about? What's what's that one called? One mindset away. That sounds better. <laughs> sounds like you ripped Russell Brunson off, but that's oh, fine. well, I was trying to. <laughs> no, you know, uh, not, don't not, get not me started. I mean. you know, like, don't get me started on how. Uh, okay, I wasn't mm-hmm. trying to rip him off, but he had like a really great way of like you are one thinking or one idea. But to me, you should come up with something that makes sense, not just because you're writing Russell Brunson. Want to master your body, your mind, and Okay, so here's the thing. I don't yeah. know. You're like, this is not life coaching after you just pitched me on life coaching. You got to pick something, man. Like, what are you selling? Are you selling weight loss? Are you selling dating? Like, <laughs> one mindset away from what? If you're Tony Robbins, you can be like, with your big ass hands, hey there, I'm just going to kind of generally vaguely improve your life and you'll buy my stuff. And people will buy it, but you're not Tony Robbins because you're not famous. You didn't spend 15 years on infomercials. You didn't get on Oprah to, and you didn't build such a personal brand that no one cares what you actually sell. They just want to buy from you. That's the biggest issue that people have is they look at these people like Tony Robbins and they go, ooh, that guy's making money. That guy's doing awesome. I'm going to do what he does. But for us lowly people, for people like me and you who aren't super famous, we actually have to be clear about what we sell. Tony and and people like him, when they started out, they started out super specific. They didn't start out general. This is a very general offer. I need you to pick something. 
What do you help people with? Is it weight loss? Is it calling their father that they haven't called for 20 years? Like, what is it specifically you help with? In my mind, I can't separate the difference between working on your mind and your health and your fitness. And that's why I have been struggling with what this is for the longest time. But in my you mind- You want me to solve that for you right now? Yeah, go ahead. See, what you're doing is you're selling the way to get the thing. I want you to sell the thing. Think of a problem that a very specific person has that that thing you know can yeah. solve. Forget about the thing you know for a second, yeah. just a second, and think about the thing that that thing can fix. Yeah. What can that fix? Weight loss. If it's weight loss, then that means that you have a specific mechanism, a specific method, a specific way to get them what they want. What they want in this particular case is weight loss. For instance, you could completely redesign this to basically say the same thing, but you're saying looking to finally lose weight, looking to yeah. finally commit to getting the body you want, to finally change your life and become healthier. It's not about exercise. It's not about diet. It's about your mindset. Because when you're, when you change the way you think, all that stuff falls in place. Like you could flip it around. Like for instance, if, if I said to you, Bo, if you had a, a stomach ache, like a yep. really bad stomach ache, what type of doctor would you go to? I, I don't. Let's say there is something wrong with your prostate. Okay. Who I'm going to go to a proctologist. Uh, okay. Got it. Would you go to a yeah. foot doctor? No, no, you wouldn't do that. So if I want to lose weight, do I go to the general mindset dude or do I go to the dude that helps people losing weight? You are 100% correct on this. It just, when I was making this up, I, in my mind, I can't separate those. And so when I'm making like, you know, the, the pitch, it's just like, I, it is what I think. Have you helped people in your life? Forget your business, just in general. Have you helped people with this? Yes. How many people? It's basically all of my like friends and family. If that's they ever fine. Have, no, like, that's completely fine. How yeah, many? Seven. Each of those seven people, you help yeah. them with their mindset. What did they fix? each one of them as a result. Each one of them is different, but it was uh, either getting out to start getting active or changing the way that they were eating. And each one is basically, you can, you know, out of the seven, you could divide it up 50, 50. Well, that's, that's fitness. fitness so all seven weight. were fitness. Well, it's fitness and diet. Yeah, Wait, diet. Yeah, was that great? Well, I know, I know, I know. Bro, I, I work I know. out. Working out and dieting are, are hand in hand. I, I'm not going to go yeah. to the gym for two hours and come home and eat mac and cheese. Who does that? You'd be surprised. So what you're saying is you helped seven people get fit or finally get active, get over that yes. mental barrier to do that. And yet when I go to your website, I'm not seeing anything about, okay, wow. The first thing we got right here, right here is a picture of you running up. Oh, and then this can somehow, yeah, that can be construed that, as fitness. You, you got to be clear what you help them with the pro you're fat, you're out of shape, you're inactive. These are problems and you're not mentally strong enough to fix these problems, I am not only going to help you with what to do, but I'm going to help you actually build the mindset to do it. Hang on, let me take a note. Okay, all right. <laughs> this is what you call articulating your offer properly, all right? <laughs> you look pretty fit. How old are you? I'm um, 40. I just turned 40. So you're 40. You're fit. I see a bunch of medals behind you. I see a bunch of... So everything I see is fitness, yet hardly anything about your offer you talk about is fitness. Yeah, that would be like a prostitute trying to sell herself in a turtleneck. <laughs> well, what here's why it is. The biggest changes I had in my life came from the mental side and when I came out from like being like, you know, just like drunk and not going anywhere in my life. And that is why I was trying to help people stop, get out of that situation too. Okay, great. Fantastic. Lovely. That's a great lifetime story. But at the end, no, of the I get day, it. That's not marketing, bro. Yeah. You take the problem and you, you illustrate how you can solve it. Now that doesn't mean that in the course of selling it and in marketing it, you can't say, by the way, guess what happens when you're able to do this? A lot of other amazing hidden benefits, like being able to quit drinking. This same thing I can teach you, it'll help you get over being fat or whatever it is. It's also going to help you with addiction. It's also going to help you with XYZ. See, because here's what's going to happen. You're going to have people who are going to be on the fence about what you sell. They're going to be right on the line and they're going to be like, oh, I don't know if I should give this dude money. But then you're going to say something like, and 
it can help you do X, Y, Z. And they're going to say, oh, well, that's a bonus. That that puts me over the line. Those are the things that get people off the fence and over the line. You don't poison your marketing message with a few bonuses. You see what I'm saying? These are additional benefits. These are perks. These are not your main message. You can't try to sell everything to everyone all at once, or you will sell nothing to no one, which so far you have sold nothing to no, no one. No, no, I'm, I'm getting nowhere. So this is like, it's very helpful. Like I know that, like yeah. I've been struggling this for months. Here's the deal. If you don't know what you're selling, how can I know what you're selling? How can your customers know what you're selling? Look, I'm looking at your Instagram. You're, you're grinding, you're, you're writing stuff on whiteboards, you're making videos, you're putting out, you're consistent. Look at this. What it takes to be fit is the same thing it takes to be rich. It takes consistency, it takes delayed gratification, and it takes action. And, that, and you're doing all of these things. So this is good, but you're shooting a shotgun in the thousand different directions instead of a sniper in one direction. And you're not gonna hit anything. And even if you do edit, what's a bird shot going to do? It's not going to do anything to anything. You need a, a sniper bullet right at who you want to target and who you want to help. So how close have you got to making a sale? Not very. What is the main problem? People, do they not understand what you sell? What, what is the well, main that, problem? Well, I mean, I guess that that's really what's going on because like I can't book a call. And in any time that I get people on the two weeks, it's just continuously two weeks. And then that's it. Sorry. You're talking about these people? Yeah. All right. First of all, holy crap on a stick. Okay, come this on. This is your idea of a testimonial. Look at this website. I, I didn't... Featured client one. I Not saw this on... Uh... Lost 30 pounds. No, it's featured client one. Featured client two. Featured... This little screenshot with size one font that you can't read. This client had bad social anxiety, poor self-image, diet issues, and no why. So like that's just 17 different offers right there. A long-term future goal, basically feeling lost and stuck. In so you're a therapist now. After working with this client, and focusing on the long-term goal, what goal? We're able to attach the self-image. That is, you just took words from the dictionary and went, blah, 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 and put them together, okay? That doesn't mean anything. The diet, the fitness to that goal, put emotion behind it and create action steps to get here. Listen, this looks like Timothy Leary wrote it. Like <laughs> for the young ones at home who don't know who Timothy Leary is, he made acid. And then what is this, this screenshot? So no picture of the person, no uh. before and after. Not even the person's name. The dude's name isn't even here. Well, well I was trying because like, I don't like putting people out there like that. And, and that's why I didn't do why? it. I, I don't know. I, I felt bad. Explain that to me. What do you mean you felt bad? I didn't like putting their face and their information out there because they're already having problems where they're at. So I'm just trying to not do that to them. So if you get them an amazing result, they're happy about the result. You feel bad about showcasing that so that others can be inspired by it? Well, it's not that just that. They still have like social anxieties and things like that. It's just like, th that's where I'm just not trying to put them out there like that. Okay, watch this. So Bo, before we got on this call, I made it clear to you that this was for YouTube, right? Yeah. I said like, this is for a YouTube channel. You will be recorded and this will be on YouTube. And you agreed, correct? Yeah. And well, I mean, this is, I mean, this is going to be pretty bad for me, which is obvious. It's okay. I don't think it's going to be bad for you. Look, I'll be honest with you. I'm 36. If I was out of shape and I saw this interview and I see those gold medals, I would think you were a terrible marketer, but I think you could solve my problem. Do you think people care about how good of a marketer you are? Or you think they care about how you can help them get in shape? Well, I mean, obviously that how I can help them get in shape. It's yeah. clear you can do that. It's clear you can solve that problem. It's the business part. <laughs> uh, going into this, I knew you were just going to like tear me apart. And like, I knew that if I, you didn't do it, then I'm, my business was not going to go anywhere because obviously I don't know what I'm doing. If this is necessary to get to me to where I want to be, then fine, then so be it. Yeah, but the point is you agreed and so you did it. If you have somebody that you want to showcase a testimonial and you say before you begin working together, hey, if we get results, oh. are you okay with me showcasing your journey and showing it to my audience? And if they say yes then what is there to feel bad about? No, you're right. And I didn't ask that in the beginning. Oh, okay, so there you go. So change that, always yeah. ask that. And you'd be surprised, believe it or not, that helps you sell. So what I always say to people say, I say, listen, I require two forms of payment. I require the money, that's payment one, but there's another form of payment and it's required. If and when, and when I get you results, I want your testimony. I want you to come on and do a, a client interview. That is like literally just as if not more important to me 
than your payment. Because if you come on and you share your story, I'm going to get 10 clients, which is 10 times more than what you just paid me. So I'm more concerned with you giving me that success story than I am the money. Do you agree? Now, what this does is number one, it sets expectations. And number two, it makes them feel secure because if they're like, well, if this dude is that on about getting my success story, he must know what he's doing. He's going to get me success because he's like so on about that. You see what I'm saying? Well, yeah, I, I've been on your website and I scroll down. It, it's tons of them. So yeah. And you, you've, you've bought things from me as well, right? Well, yeah. I will actually a part of your legacy and uh, I got your new book coming in like a couple of days. Oh, cool. Awesome. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Here's the thing, man. I can just tell by your demeanor. I can tell by your wall back there. I can tell by your attitude that you know what you're doing when it comes to getting people results for breaking through their barriers, getting off their butt, getting healthy. And I'd imagine at around my, to your age, mid thirties, 40, because yeah. that, that's when, if you sit on the couch, it actually starts to matter. When you're like 22, it doesn't matter. You can sit on your couch and you still look great. And what's great about that is people who are 35, 40, 45, they have money. They yeah. have money to fix problems. So you're in a good place if you can just identify who it is you help and what you help them solve. So here's what yeah. I, I want you to do. You got any gasoline there in the house? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got that. Can you just pour it all over your business and light it on fire and start over? Yeah, I can do that tonight. Okay, those seven people or even these, have you helped them lose weight visually? Yeah, yeah. Can you get pictures of that visual difference? Yeah, I can get those, yes. Here's the other thing. If you seek out people with a vague offer, even if it's free, even if it's your friends, you're going to get vague results. Yeah. But if you say, "I'm look, I'm taking on 10 people for the next 30 days and I'm going to change all your habits. You're, you're going to get healthier. You're going to get more fit. I'm going to get you off the couch. Yeah, I'm going to show you what to do and what to eat. But more importantly, I'm going to work with you to actually break the cycle of inaction. I'm going to work with you to actually become the man you want to become and take action. And so what I would do is I would have an interview with them. I'd record it. I'd be like, tell me about how you feel when you want to get up and you want to go to the gym, when you want to get up and you want to do what you have to do for the day. And, and you record it and then you cut that together in like little highlights. And then 30 days later, you come on and you're like, how do you feel now? You cut that together. And now you have this ad where you're like, hey, I'm Bo Bland. And I'm going to help you absolutely crush your fitness goals, not just by telling you what to do and how to do it, but by working with you to get over that constant and incessant disease of inaction. And then boom, it cuts right to John, who is like, yeah, I just don't I suck, man. Blah, blah, blah. And then 30 days later, boom, man, I, I, I hit five workouts over the past two weeks. I'm, I'm finally, and it just, and then you say, listen, I get it. You know, you need to work out. You don't need to buy another workout program. See, you throw rocks at all your competitors. You don't need to buy another workout program. You don't need to follow another diet. You don't need to buy another weight band. What you need is someone to help you actually use what you already know, to, to do what you already know you need to do. The biggest thing that keeps people out of shape, that keeps people completely and utterly stagnant is inaction. And that is what no one talks about. They wanna tell you the, the, the next workout plan. You know why? Because people buy workout plans. So they tell you a workout plan to sell you a workout plan. But what you really need is you need someone to help you actually do it. And that's hard because it's hard to get off the couch. It's hard to be consistent. It's hard to delay gratification. It's hard to get there in the gym knowing that pretty much everybody there looks better than you. And you have to stick it out for the next three months so that you look more like them. But for now, you are like the worst person in the gym and you have to be mentally be able to go each and every day to the gym knowing that you look like crap and that if you stay consistent you're going to look great and you won't feel bad about yourself three months from now but you never get to three months from now because you feel bad about yourself today you don't go tomorrow three months never comes i am going to help you get over that and absolutely abolish that from your life for the rest of the time you are on this planet and as an added benefit once you're able to do that you're able to overcome anything in life. You're able to overcome addiction. You're able to overcome family problems. You're able to overcome procrastination because the same mental fortitude it takes to be consistent and be healthy and get the body you want is the exact same thing that'll get you anything you want in life. My name is Bo Bland. And I'm going to help you get there. I'm sold. That yeah. is what you need to be saying. And look, you sound like a really humble guy. All right. You really do. But being humble is overrated. Be humble in practice, not in promotion. Would what do you mean by that? I am not humble at all in, in my advertising for my company because it doesn't work. But once you actually work with me, when I've actually come out and done a consulting day or I'm in a program, I'm a lot different. Or if, if you meet me in person, I'm a lot different. Why? Because that's not how I am. It's not even how I am right now. 
I fully understand that in order for people to get value out of this video, in order for people to get value out of my advertisements, they have to be entertained. So I can't be like, well, Bo, um, you know, uh, uh, it just seems like you're not identifying your target audience very well. Nobody's going to care to watch that. So I am not being humble in promotion. I'm being humble in practice. You need to put yourself out there. You need to take what you know, what you're good at, and you need to shout it from the mountaintops. And listen, you know why I know you can do that? You know why I know that you can actually claim that you can help people and you can make those claims? Because look what's behind you. Look at all those medals behind you. I'm going to be real with you. If you were sitting here right now and you were 30 pounds overweight and you were telling me the same thing, I would call you a liar. I'd be like, bro, you're a fat ass you're full of crap. You can't help anybody because you can't even help yourself. No, but you're not. I can tell you're in shape. I can tell you have good, strong mental fortitude. I can tell that you're receptive and that you're humble and that you have a lot of achievements. So I know you can back it up. Why do you think Conor McGregor is the highest paid UFC fighter, yet he hasn't won a fight in like five years? And why do you think after a fight, win, lose, or draw, he's always super humble? I'm not promote, I'm not condoning how he promotes himself. There's a line to everything. But the point is, is that at the end of the day, sitting there and not putting on a show for people, nobody's going to pay attention. Here's the thing. What I would do if I were you is I would redo your marketing I, and I would start small. Get somebody on a call, get them a result, and ask them if you can showcase them. You go out, you help somebody. You film a case study. I'll send you the questions, okay? Actually, no, you're in you're in my legacy university, right? Yeah. They're in there. Go into the high ticket selling course. It's a case study script. So go get the person a result, get them on an interview, and ask them those exact questions. You take that interview, you put it on a page with a really nice headline How I did X for X in X amount of days. You stick the case study funnel on there and you put a calendar link below there that says, I'll do a free fitness evaluation for you. Book a call. That is the most crude, rudimentary funnel there is. But if you can get a few clients with that and keep it real simple, you can do all the fancy stuff later. Let okay, so results show for themselves. In in your opinion, I should probably just let Fit Focus Ready burn. Change the words on the page. Fit Focus Ready works now because it's a fitness offer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Change the words on the page to make sense. Oh, here's another thing, right? Your imagery. So I'm going to be honest with you. Let me look at your Instagram here real quick. I'm going to be honest with you. You look like somebody who's selling a fishing offer. <laughs> okay. My personal trainer, all right? I'm, I'm going to tell you something right now. My personal trainer, his name's Will Myers. He okay. was broke as a joke when we started working together. And he was trying to do content. And he is this big, huge, jacked, black son of a he looks amazing. Like anybody would be like, that dude is a physical specimen. So on his Instagram content, he was doing stuff like you, where he just had this regular shirt on. It was a, I said, okay, take a big bowl. Cause he was talking about how like something about carb loading or something. So I said, take a big bowl, like oversized bowl of cereal, film yourself, dumping it on yourself shirtless, let it roll down. Then do another video where you're like all oiled up and shirtless. And you're like, making food, right? I'm not saying you yeah. have to do this. I'm just giving you an example. He did it. He got a million views, a million views. And his socials took off. He made a lead magnet, which is like this book that gets people on your email list that I helped him make. And now he makes 30 grand a month in his coaching. So he gives it away. He gives out value on his socials and he talks to him over DM. He gets them on the phone and he sells them. Like a funnel is great. Having a page where they can book is great. But if you just start talking to people and you can refer them back to that, but you just start talking to people, you can get them on the phone and sell them. On this Instagram page, so yeah. you got... 115 followers, right? That's not many. So what, what is this content here? It's a goal. Some people, like a lot of people don't have a goal. And like, I'm still working on trying to feel natural in front of a camera. And so I do a lot of these things just so I can feel more natural because I just don't. What I'm is right the biggest reason why people don't work out? Why, or that, why they don't why they don't get off their butt to work out? People who are in their 30s and 40s. They're lazy, honestly. I know, but why are okay, they? Okay, but then they want to get fit and then like they've got mental barriers. Like they're just basically, they don't want exactly what they're going after. They would rather eat a piece of pizza then get off their ass and go work out all right so if i'm on this table right here and yeah. this is a piece of pizza is this like chicken breast or something yeah so here's the pizza here is the healthy food chicken breast. and yeah. you're saying that they're consistently choosing this right yes all right how many pieces of content have you made where you did this hey 
You're about 40 years old. You're out of shape. You hate the way you look in the mirror. You get up in the morning, you look in the mirror and you are disgusted. But right here, when you have to make this choice between this piece of pizza and this chicken breast and vegetables, what do you do? You choose the pizza. Why? Because you want to satiate yourself. You want to feel good for the next five minutes more than you want to feel good for the next 10 years. And you make that decision every single day when you get up. You go to the fridge and you make that decision. And that decision is made day after day after day. You are deciding to not have what you want. You are deciding to not look the way you want to look. You are deciding to feel terrible about yourself because you're making a bunch of little decisions that you think don't add up to much because, oh, it's just one piece of pizza, but you're doing it over and over again. And how many other aspects of your life are you making little decisions that add up into monumental failure. Well, my friend, I promise you that if you simply ask yourself each time, what do I want more? Even if you choose the pizza, start asking yourself, what do I want more? You make that a rule. Look, we're, we're going to make an agreement between me and you right now. Every single time you have to make this choice, you ask yourself first, what do I want more? And when you do that, you'll find that you might make better decisions. If you'd like some more tips on how you can get over this mental disease that is holding you down, making you make the wrong choices, send me a DM with the word choice and I'll help you out. So whatever, right? Now what you're doing is first, you're calling out the, the, the target audience. You're discussing a relatable situation to them. You are calling them out on their BS. You're motivating them. You're giving them some value and then you're telling them to get a hold of you so that you can help them first. Or what would even be better for that, let's say you had a sheet and the sheet is like a grid and you can print it out and it says, what do I want more? So you pick up the sheet. My name is Bo Bland and I made this sheet for you where every single day you're going to hang it up on your fridge. And all you got to do is cross each box out for every time you said, what do I want more? And as long as you can cross this sheet out five times a day, I promise you, you're going to see a change in the way you look. DM me the word sheet and I'll send you a PDF copy of this sheet where you can download it and print it out. Now, when they send it to you, okay, when they send you that DM, you say, hey man, I got you. I'll, I'll shoot this PDF right over you. Real quick question. What's been the biggest struggle you've had with losing weight? And then they're going to go blah, 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 blah. And then you're going to go, how much does that cost you not being able to solve that problem? How overweight are you and how, how long have you been at overweight? Oh, I've been, I've been 30 pounds overweight for how long? 10 years, 10 years. So let me ask you this. If you were to assign a number, a dollar figure to being overweight for the past 10 years, what dollar figure would represent the pain and suffering you've gone through? How high would that number get? Oh, $100,000. Great, $100,000. So let me ask you, John, if I could take a, away $100,000 worth of pain and suffering, would it be worth a short chat? Yes, it would. Great. How is Tuesday at 2 p.m. Tuesday at 2 p.m. is good, great. Is there any reason why you wouldn't make Tuesday at 2 p.m.? Oh, you didn't check your calendar. You have your daughter's dance recital. Got it. How is 7 p.m.? 7 p.m. Is there any reason you wouldn't make 7 p.m. on Tuesday? No, there's not. Fantastic. I'll see you 7 p.m. on Tuesday. You do the call and you close them. Did you have my book, Pocket Guide to High Ticket Selling? No, I don't have that one. Get that book, okay? It's like 99 cents on Amazon or you can get the physical book. It's 20 minute read. Put it on your table. It's literally the exact script. We did $30 million at getclients.com. That was the phone script. All my, all my reps use just, you just say what's in the book. You get them on the phone with that setting script. What's your problem? How much is it costing you? Would it be worth a 15 minute chat? If I could solve it for you, you get them on the phone, you say what's in the book, you close freaking sales. Here's what I want to see you do. Okay. I want to see this within the next like day. I need to see a video that you're going to share on Instagram. You're going to share on Facebook and it's going to be a piece of pizza and a health meal. And you're going to say what I just said, and then you're going to give them some sort of sheet or whatever you want to do. Here's what I'll do for you. If you'll make that video, I'll share it on my Instagram. I'll post it to my stories and I'll share it. Okay. But you got, you got to make sure that you put on that production, you put on a show and you offer them that thing. You will have people reach out to you 100% that will want that sheet or whatever you want to give away. Those are the people who are your ideal customers. They're reaching out to you to download something that is going to help them solve the exact problem that you can help them solve. And if you just talk to them a little further, you can get them on the phone and you can close them, period. If you hadn't, if we hadn't hopped on this, I would still be pushing the exact same thing and then rearranging things again and again and again and going nowhere. So I just appreciate doing this. It was, it was good to do, regardless of how brutal it was. Um, 
<laughs> we did it. And if somebody is 40 and fat and out of shape and just can't get off their butt and can't get motivated, where can they find you? Go to onemindsetaway.com and uh, send me an email. Send you an email? Oh, yeah, it's book a, book a call. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm messing with yeah. you. All right. Yeah. Seriously though. What, 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 one mindset away. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, man. Brother, thank you so much for coming on.